four tree, here we have five tree, six tree, we have tree four, we have tree five, we have tree six, okay? Uh, we have four four, four five, four six, okay? Uh, we could have uh, five four, five five, five six, okay? We could have six four, six five, six six, okay? They're all the possible ordered pairs. So the sample space in relation to rolling two die, okay? two die, okay? uh, would be the set of all these ordered pairs. One, 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 two, and so on and so forth, all the way through to six five and six six, okay? In this particular instance here, you might be interested in what's the probability, yeah, okay, that the first die has a value of, that the first die has a value of two, and the second die has a value of four, in which case you're interested in this particular event here, okay. Uh, you might be interested in other things, yeah, you might be interested in the experiment where, I suppose, the event that you're interested in, the outcome that you're interested in, where the sum of both die adds to three, okay, in which case, well, two and one is three, and one and two is three. So there are the possible outcomes that you could be interested in there. Okay? So we can make this even more complicated by throwing more dice into the mix or more coins into the mix or selecting more cards from a deck of cards and so on. But the most important thing here to recognize is that every experiment that we perform has a sample space. Okay? The sample space is simply a list of all the possible outcomes that could occur okay, when we perform the experiment. Okay? Uh, now, from a probability perspective, what we're typically interested in is an event that occurs. Okay? So from a probability, from a probability perspective, perspective, okay, we we are interested, we are interested okay, in calculating in calculating okay, the likelihood, okay, the like Hood, okay, of some event occurring okay, when we when we perform our experiment when we perform our experiment okay. so we know that the sample space is a list of all possible outcomes and an event okay, an event is simply a subset of the sample space, of the sample space. Okay? So an event is simply a subset of the sample space. We could symbolize that by the event, let's say is E, okay? it's a subset of the sample space, of the sample space S. Okay? So for example, okay, I might be interested in calculating, I might be interested in from a time cost experiment, yeah, okay? From a time cost exper time toss experiment, yeah, I might be interested in calculating so a, to a, a tossing okay, of a single coin. Okay. Okay. I might be interested in what's the probability. Okay, the event I'm interested in is getting ahead. Okay, so the event is seeing a head on the coin. So if I just symbolize that as a probability, I'm interested in what's the probability, okay, that when I toss a coin, the experiment, that the outcome achieved is is H ahead. I could also probably ask what's the probability that when I toss a coin that the outcome I achieve is a tail. Okay? These are events. Okay? That's an event. It's a subset, okay? That's an event. It's a subset of the sample space. It's contained within the sample space itself, okay? You see, it's contained within the sample space. Uh, in the second experiment, okay, in the second experiment, when we roll a die, okay, I might be interested in certain events. Let's say the atomic events. I might be interested in when I roll a die. What's the probability that the outcome is a one, or what's the probability that the outcome is a two, or what's the probability, okay, that the outcome, okay, is a three and so on and so forth. These are all events. That's an event. Okay? This is an event. 
this is an event. Okay? These are all events. They're subsets of the sample space with respect to rolling a die. Okay? You can see one is a subset here. Yeah, two is, three is. Okay? I could make it a little bit compli more complicated. Okay? I could say, what's the probability that when I roll a die, I get an even number? Okay? This is an event. The even number sets, the evens, yeah, okay, uh, are the values 2, 4, and 6. 2, 4, and 6 is a subset of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This is the sample space of sample space associated with rolling a die. And this is clearly a subset of the sample space. So this is an event. And this, these numbers are even numbers. Okay? We might ask, what's the probability that when I roll a die, I get a number greater than or equal to 2? Okay? Well, what are these? These numbers, yeah, okay, this event, okay, is the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are a subset of the sample space. Okay? So they're events. Uh, let's go to the let's go to the die example where we had where we had where we had rolled two dice. Okay, so when we roll two dice, yeah, okay, there's certain things that we might be interested in. In other words, there's certain subsets, there's certain subsets of this sample space that we might have an interest in trying to calculate what the likelihood is of something like that happening. Okay, so for example, uh, in relation to so this is our rolling of a two die example, okay? So in relation to rolling, rolling, er, uh, rolling two die, hmm? I might be interested in what's the probability, yeah, okay, okay, that the first die, okay, that the first die is an even number, okay, and, okay, or maybe or, yeah, the second die, okay, is an odd number might be interested in that. What do they look like? Okay, well, this event, okay, this compound event, okay, this event, okay, is the set of outcomes where the first thing is even, so we have two, and the second thing is odd, so we have a two with a one, uh, we have a two with a three, we have a two with a five, okay, and uh, we have a four with a one, we have a four with a two, sorry, a four with a, a, a three, we have a 4 with a 5, we have a 6 with a 1, uh, we have a 6 with a 3, and we have a 6 with a 5. Okay? This is the event that we're talking about here. This is a subset okay, of the sample space with respect to rolling 2 die. Okay? The sample space that we defined earlier on. In relation to rolling 2 die, the sample space okay, was defined to be 36 ordered pairs. Okay. This event here okay, is a subset of that. Okay. Um, so what we can see, and what the important take-home point here is this, okay, and I think that if you can get your head around this, we're ready to we're ready to move on. We're ready to calculate some probabilities using some of our probability rules. Yeah. Okay. That every experiment that's performed, that there's a list of all possible outcomes, that's known as the sample space. But more importantly, when we perform an experiment, we're interested in some non-predictable thing happening yeah okay and more importantly we're interested in what is the likely outcome or the word we use is what's the probability of this non-likely or non-predictable thing ha happening and this non-predictable thing is known as the event of interest so in the event of interest always has to be well it doesn't have to always be okay the event of interest is a subset of your sample space uh, that's an important point Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Centre at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video, which is a foundational and basic introduction at this stage to some important concepts that we're going to we're going to we're going to keep coming back to in in, in, the, in the rest of the videos with respect to probability. I hope this uh, helped in your understanding of this particular topic. Okay. Uh, thanks for your time. Okay. Bye bye.